Yes, sir. Ski got the Brembo's, the big ass axles. That 309 boy right there, you feel me? What you been on though, my nigga? I know you ready to get this bitch going. Yeah, that bitch is crazy. pretty, ain't it? My shit don't sound like that. <laughs> we finally got this bitch in the backyard. Bro, I have never in my life seen no shit. What the fuck? Do not slide no V6 with a stock diff, my nigga. One of you hammerhead ass niggas done headbutted this bitch. Fuck. That ain't supposed to be like that. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bad Chaser. Tavares in this bitch, man. Hey, miss, hey, man. I'm back here with another lit banger. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking this bitch down today. I'm not going to record, even though a lot of y'all on, on Instagram told me I should record. I was going to, but then I was thinking like, I will be recording, breaking it down, then like making another video, a separate video, putting it on my car. So I'm just gonna wait on that and I'm gonna just record the process of me putting the knuckles on my car. That way I can use the Brembo brakes. So yes, I am not using this whole scat rear end. I'm actually breaking this down for somebody else. That way he can get the, the diff and the axles. And I'm probably, yeah, I'm gonna get those, uh, wheel bearings off for him too because i don't know if the axles are lined up with the v6 so he has a v6 charger he's putting it in i might be doing that shit so if i'm doing that that's what i would include in this video you guys will be seeing me putting this diff inside that car you know what i'm saying and he has a v6 charger i believe it's a 2016 i think it is a lot of y'all if y'all thought i was gonna put this in my car no i thought about putting a 392 swap rear end in my car but thing is i don't want to pay 850 and up for no damn drive shaft just to make that shit work so with that being said all i'm going to do is just use these knuckles off this rear end that way i can put some brimbos on my car because i do have brimbos you guys will see that video too i'm gonna take the knuckles he gets everything else you know what i'm saying and um yeah that's pretty much it it's not going to my car you feel me I'm just using the knuckles, that way I can put Brembo's on my, my car. The plans I have for my car to make it slide easier, you know what I'm saying? Cause I can still slide my shit, you know what I'm saying? We was just out yesterday and my shit was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with that tune, I ain't gonna lie, that bitch slide way better with that tune, bro. I'm not gonna cap to y'all. I thought it was gonna like kind of mess me up cause I firmed my shifts up, but that bitch slide good. You hear me? It slid, slide way better than it ever has slid. So. With that being said, what I plan on doing to my, I'm going to just keep my stock diff and I'm going to put one of those locking blocks in there. Y'all going to see that shit too. I know a nigga hair is crazy though. I'm off the wake up, nigga. And it's crazy because I was out, nigga, we was out to like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning yesterday. And I didn't get up. I didn't wake up to like 1 something, like 1 o'clock, I think. And yeah, I was laying in bed. I just got out of bed, bro. So I was, I woke up at one, stayed in bed till two. Nigga, what are you doing? Nigga, you supposed to be recording for these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? God damn. Y'all niggas know me. I always got to stare at the whip. But as you guys can see, clear, my guy. The one thing I hate, bro, is the cleanup process. But I got that shit done. They go to the lines and shit over there. I don't know what he going to do with that. Probably going to leave it here. Because, I mean, those all bent up. Ain't no use for those, so. But you come in here, yes, sir. Ski got the Brembo's, the big ass axles, and on these, if you smart, I don't know if these interchangeable or not, but I wrote like a P on all the parts that's passenger side, and then for the driver side, I wrote a D for all the parts that's on driver side. That way, that way, like I can't forget and shit like that, cause sometimes, bro, I do be forgetting shit, but. It'll come back to me. That's why I like to document shit so I know how I go back together. With that being said, here go the nice little 392 diff. You feel me? That 309 boy right there. You feel me? I think it's on the back side. It says it. It's on the back. But y'all get the gist. That's definitely a LSD right there. Let me just slip 309. We're going to be putting that in the V6. So if you guys are new, stay tuned. Y'all going to watch me put this shit in the V6. I already told uh, my homeboy Rico. He can go ahead and have that bitch towed over here sometime next week nigga it is cold as hell outside my nigga like it's it's fucking snowing and shit uh, y'all probably can't tell but look y'all see my car nigga this is ice my shit is iced up bro and i hate that shit but we gotta get this shit done bro 
I need these knuckles, so we got to get these to get this work done. So with that being said, here let me show y'all these. Y'all got the rusty ass rotors. I'm gonna need one of those. So yeah, and then y'all got my Brembos and shit over here. I got the intake Brembos, oil catch can, and that's the torque converter. Believe it or not. Uh, I had a stage three cam, as you guys know, but I sold that bitch. I'm going to go stage two. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not, so that might be up for sale. But with that being said, here are the knuckles. These parts right here, I couldn't get off on one side, so I just left the other one on. Hopefully, I can get them off, but I really don't need to because, you know, I, I, they should match up with my car. So those are the knuckles. I will be using these lines, too, on my car, so I got to take these lines off still. It's still a little shit I got to do, but... With that being said, bro, I hope y'all stay tuned, bro. Everything I do to my 300, bro, will be documented. So you guys will want to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And at this point in time, I am getting, nigga, I am averaging 1K views a video now. And I like that shit. So I need y'all niggas to keep sharing, keep subscribing. And yeah, do what you do. And don't forget to comment down below in the comments because that helped boost my video. So I need y'all niggas to do that shit too. If y'all some real niggas, y'all will comment down below in that comment to say, that comment section right now, my nigga. Do that shit right now, my nigga. You feel me? Do that shit right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all in a couple of days when we get that V6 here and we're gonna finish up this video. As you guys can see, I don't have Brimbos. They're just painted red. With that top side on that bit, you feel me? But we do have Brembo's coming soon. What's good, y'all? So, Buddy did end up having me do his rear end. So, with that being said, I cleared everything out of my garage. That way we can push it in there right now. I gotta move my car. You guys can see. Damn. Yeah, all that shit's on the ground. That way we can clear out the garage, but there's my car, we gotta move that. What would this bitch fire right up? Last time it was dead. gonna have to drop it in the street i gotta go we gotta go straight in with it that way i can access the rear end from the garage I'm about to say, say what uh on this side right here because we gotta push it straight in appreciate you say what? the diff locked up oh. all right yeah just set it right here what you been on though my nigga I know uh, uh, you ready to get this bitch going. Oh, my mama. Hey, I'm telling you. Bro. <laughs> As y'all can see, this bitch is right here. It's gonna be getting fixed soon. I got the bad bitch over there, though. That bitch sitting pretty, ain't it? My yeah. shit don't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that bitch looking good. That bitch looking and sounding good as fuck. God damn. Yes, sir. Except for that little tick, bro. That shit be annoying the fuck out of me. This bitch looking pretty, though. My mama. Behind the scenes. Little, little startup. As y'all know, gonna get this thing back up and running. You feel me? Yeah. Look, good V6, bro. I'm telling y'all, before anybody see this video, bro, I'm telling y'all, this thing is gonna be sideways and they gonna be mad at me. They gonna hate it, boy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Nah, for real. As long as it go A to B. Yeah, it hold its own. You ain't gotta hold it. <laughs> I had a few of them hit my head. 
Nah, the uh, us trying to hold uh, Jay shit up was crazy. Oh yeah, that was that. One. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh oh. y'all what's good so as you guys can see we finally got this bitch in the backyard after i get a uh, damn near scratched up bumper on my daily and all type of shit and first thing we're gonna do with this bitch this is a v6 first thing we're gonna do with it is jack the rear up pop these pop these tires and rims off i don't know i might have to take these rotors off because the simple fact that i might have to swap the uh the wheel bearings. I don't know if these splines on these axles are the same as those ones. So hopefully they are to make it easier for me. So with that being said, as you guys can see, that's from my car. Yeah, my transmission is gone, bro. That's all transmission fluid. But we're going to jack the back of this bitch up. Uh, start pulling these tires off. Get it on the jack stands. I'm going to try to jack it up as high as I can. That way I got some room and shit like that. So with that being said, Let's jack this bitch up. That's probably going to be the only thing we do today is jack it up. That way I can see what I'm working with, what all I got to do. Hopefully, since it's a V6, I don't have to drop the exhaust because I think the exhaust is like, it's different. So hopefully, we don't got to do that. Otherwise, that's just annoying. But I see y'all niggas in a little bit on game. Damn. All right, y'all, so as you guys can see, I got this wheel off. I, honestly, bro, I never knew these V6s had covers on them. I went to put the socket in there, it wouldn't fit, and the whole time it's a cover on that bitch. But yeah, there's that. And there's this side wheel over there. This wheel is off. I already sprayed some PV Blaster on these nuts to try to get those off. And what it's looking like, if you guys can see down there, here's the axle. And there's the exhaust. So I'm probably gonna have to drop that exhaust down because I have, once I unbolt this diff, it's gonna drop. That'll allow me to slide them axles out. <laughs> yeah, I wanna show I wanna show you guys the damage though. This shit is crazy, bro. When they unloaded it off the trailer, it was a piece of the fucking diff casing laying on the ground, bro. That shit was crazy. But let me crawl up underneath here and show you all the damage. Y'all see that shit? Damn! Bro, I have never in my life seen no shit what the fuck hey if y'all got a v6 with a stock diff do not slide that motherfucker that's how i ended up like this i'm not gonna cap but without further ado as you guys can see this is everything like basically what we got left um me personally i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna do this shit today i might wait till tomorrow to fuck with this shit some more we're gonna see if y'all niggas just gonna see the clip, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know why I'm talking about it, because y'all just gonna see the clip anyway, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to it. I'm gonna start putting some of this shit back in the garage. That way, bro, this shit is just crazy, though. Hey, comment down below if y'all ever seen a diff do this shit blow up like this, bro. This shit is crazy. And this shit was just free rolling in park. That shit crazy, bro. At first, it got stuck and made a clank sound when they was trying to get it off the trailer. He had to, like, I don't know. Jerk the trailer and shit. Oh, nigga, you gay! <laughs> just to get this bitch to slide off, but after that, I think it just that's where that piece came from. That piece y'all seen, it was part of this right here. Rico, nigga, if you watching this shit, you need to let motherfuckers know to learn from your mistakes, nigga. Do not slide no V6 with a stock diff, my nigga. He ain't lying. Get you a little diff in that motherfucker, or else you're gonna end up like my nigga Rico, you feel me? And shout out to Rico for bringing this motherfucker to me to do this work. 
um like i was telling you guys before this is the car that that diff is going in a lot of you people might have thought i was putting in my 300 no that's not the case if you guys follow me on instagram you guys can keep like keep up to date and shit like before the video is dropped you feel me basically you keep up to date before the video is dropped and you already know what the fuck going on but with that being said yes that diff is going in this car he's throwing me the knuckles and shit for doing the work and i mean it's cool that's cool with me because knuckles shit i get my my knuckles i can do my brimbos and we straight so yeah that's pretty much it but i see y'all niggas in that clip on game what's good y'all anyways it is another day niggas fresh off of work you feel me you feel me look at that shit first of all look at this shit god damn it look like one of y'all niggas bit my shit try to take a bite out of my shit on my mama <laughs> one of y'all sharp too fast niggas so which one of y'all niggas tried to bite me on my mama i'm about to kick y'all niggas no i'm just playing <laughs> really nigga this is the progress we got going bro as y'all can see no axles in that bitch you feel me this what took the longest, bro. Getting this motherfucker out, bro, just so I can... Like I was trying to tell you, I was going to try to work around it, but that shit ain't work, so I had to pull it out. And boy, do I motherfucking tell you, that shit was hard. You feel me? <laughs> I hate doing exhaust shit. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, if we go underneath here... Y'all, yeah, y'all see that drive shaft hanging, but... Yeah, Sersky, no diff in that bitch. But look all this, look at all this fluid and shit, bro. That shit just flung everywhere. My mama, but... Yeah, we getting there, bro. Now, what we got left to do should be easy as hell, bro. It's literally just putting everything back together. Yeah, I'm about to show y'all this different shit, though, cuz. Oh, my. Oh, my God, cuz. That bit, that shit is bad. Damn. One of you hammerhead-ass niggas done headbutted this bitch. Anyways, yeah, that's the diff, bro. This is how it came out. As soon as I unbolted this bitch, this bitch fell right out. Then there bust me in my head. I'm like, oh, fuck. You feel me? Bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, this is what I hate. Y'all see all this shit laying around? I mean, you can't avoid this because I got to set parts. Like, I like to separate shit. It may not look like it right now, but this is all the broken shit. That's all the good shit. So, with that being said, bro, this is the part I hate, man. The part that I hate the most is when we done with this shit, we got to clean all this shit up, gang. We have to clean all this shit up. That's the part that I hate the most. We about to start. Me and y'all niggas, I'm going to record some of this today since we got some daylight. Like, I did all that shit last night. I just didn't record because it was no light. And I know that y'all niggas don't want to really see me. Y'all don't want to see the whole process type shit. Like, that shit would get boring. So, I'm going to just show y'all clips. But without further ado, we finna try these axles out. Get these in there. Hopefully, they fit. And then, from there, it's literally just snapping the axles in a diff. Jacking that bitch back up. Bolting it up. And then, throwing a drive shaft on. Putting the exhaust back on. And then put the axle nuts on that's pretty much it put the wheels back on and that's pretty much it and this bitch is done and then i'm gonna have my nigga rico come through and that nigga jared might slide through with him so y'all might get more footage if they get here they can record for me so y'all gonna get even more shit but with that being said i hope this nigga slide this bitch when we done because i want to see this bitch slide even though it's a v6 this motherfucker can still slide because i seen a v6 slide before and yeah, but I see y'all niggas underneath this car on game. Oh, my mama, give me all your cheese. Give me, give me, run that shit. Man, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Nah, I'm just playing, but as y'all can see, I put that ski on. It's cold as hell out here, so I had to get that shit done. But right now, like I said, we're about to see if this axle gonna fit in here. Let me get y'all right. Let's see if this bitch gonna fit. <laughs> And this motherfucker heavy as fuck. All right, y'all, fuck that shit. Let's try this other side. See if we get better luck with this one. What the hell? 
as y'all can see, yes yeah, sir, we got them bitches in there. So if you want to swap your V6 shit and put a 392 diff in there, the axles will go in there. So all you will need to do this complete swap is a diff and these axles, and that's literally it. You could do this whole swap. But as you guys can see, this is what I had to do. I jacked up uh, one side a little bit just so it can straighten out the uh basically the pivot point that way it'll slide right in there because what was happening was it was at too much of an angle trying to go in the hole you know what i'm saying trying to go in the hole you see what do you mean by that i uh, jacked it up that way we get a straight head on angle and i and i uh put some grease on the splines and that bitch slid right in there so now all it is only thing we got left to do is to grab that diff and try to get these axles in there hopefully i didn't fuck up by putting those in first i might have to take one side back off but I mean, that's how I got it out. But then again, the casing was split, so I might have to put these in first, then raise the diff. But without further ado, I'm gonna take this jack out of here. We're about to get that diff underneath here and see if we can jack this bitch up and get this bitch set up, you feel me? All right, y'all, we had some technical difficulties. I need to tell y'all niggas, bro, if you're doing a diff swap, boy, it's a bitch to do by yourself. But as y'all can see, I got them back both started. It was a bitch to get this thing up there, bro, without falling off the jack and all type of shit. But we got it. Sorry, y'all couldn't see that shit because I was all over the place down here. So it really wasn't no room. But as y'all can see, we got that bolt started and then that side is started. And all we got to do is throw the bushings on top of here, basically, and then screw that in. Throw this drive shaft on there. I might throw this drive shaft on there before I button that up that way. It ain't hard to get in. And then from there, we throw the exhaust back on, tighten the axle nuts, and uh, throw these wheels back on, and he good to go. But yeah, bro, I've been fighting this thing the whole time, bro. I don't, gonna, I ain't gonna cap. This shit ain't, it ain't that hard though. Really, the hardest part is taking everything off. That's the hardest part, cause like, y'all know how cars be. Sometimes like, you be working on some shit. It's an easy, it could be an easy ass job, but turn into a full day job or four hours. An hour job could take four hours, basically is what I try to say. But my camera from the die, uh, I'ma let y'all see what I do until this bitch die. And then I'ma go throw a new battery in here. So right now, all right y'all, my damn camera died on me before y'all even got to see anything. But, let me get this light. As y'all can see, it's getting darker. But as y'all can see, uh the diff is in there i got that bitch in there axle's good i tried to pull them out they ain't pulling right out so they clipped in nice so with that being said we still got axle nuts to do but while i was under here doing these drive shaft bolts as you guys can see these right here i was putting those in torquing that down and i looked down there and as y'all can see if y'all can see that i'm gonna get y'all closer <laughs> Yeah, hell no. Nah. That ain't supposed to be like that. I don't know how I ain't noticed that when I was taking this shit apart. But yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. Um, my guess is when he was um when the diff went, that bitch blew up. The way that diff blew up, it probably locked this up real quick while the front was still spinning. Some shit. And they ripped this rubber thing in the middle. So that's my guess. Um, I know I ain't fucking do it. So yeah, that's it is what it is. So I'm going to let him know. See what he going to do. See if he want to grab another drive shaft. Or see if he want to try to fix this uh, bearing on here. Which is best bet is probably going to be to do another drive shaft. That will be easier. Because I ain't trying to do that bearing anyway. So yeah, it just sucks. Because now... It's just extra work, man. I was trying to get this shit going today, but it's cool. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this drive shaft and take a video of this and it's, send this to him so he can see and see if he can find another drive shaft. But once we, I can't move further with this. Damn, I'm stuttering a lot today. What the fuck going on? I'm just thinking too much, bro. Cause it's like, I just got a lot of shit going on right now with this car and I don't know. I just want to see it done. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what this bitch do. But with that being said, I'm going to take a video of this, send this shit to him, see if he can grab another drive shaft. And back to what I was saying, I can't move forward until we get this because 
And then until we get the diff fluid, which he has, he has to bring that to me also. That way I can fill this up because it'll be easier for me to fill this up before I throw these, this exhaust back on. The exhaust is the last thing I want to do. So I want to fill and do everything underneath the car, get everything situated before I do that. So I don't know what I'm going to see y'all niggas, but y'all going to see me whenever we get to replacing this drive shaft, I'm assuming. I'm going to hit y'all back and I'll see y'all niggas in a minute. <laughs> Alright, I'm a fault with you. Alright, bro. White flows, moonwalking, Billy Jean. Hundred dollar stakes, I'm from the hood, no Philly cheese. Why I'm making all these hoes sick, got a disease. I don't even wanna fuck this bitch, hit your knees. White hoes, you got bitches, bring them by the load. You gon' talking all these lame hoes and they don't even go. I break a pussy nigga neck if you break the code. Nigga try to swerve in my lane, now you off the road. Only the fam is my 